Vikings making moves, signing wide receiver Lucky Jackson and also releasing Kenny Willekes. No! All right, welcome back to One Bar and Love. show on One Bar. Vikings making some moves, signing wide receiver Lucky Jackson. What a fantastic name. Also releasing Kenny Willekes that is tearing my purple heart out of my chest. Before we get into that, remember, subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 10,000 subs. Hit that sub button. Let's go. So let's start with let's start with Kenny Willekes. Dude can stay healthy. Breaks my heart. Breaks my damn heart. Loved everything about this guy coming out of college. I think he had like two or three sack career sacks. Just could not get out on the field, could not stay healthy, wasn't really sure where he was going to uh, line up in this defense, but I think this might be his last hurrah for the Vikings. I hope he goes and signs somewhere and has 27 sacks next year. I will always be Kenny Wilkes' biggest fan. What could have been if this guy could have stayed healthy, um, even in his college career. That's why he went so late. He couldn't stay healthy, couldn't stay on the field. So Kenny Wilkes, Gonzo, very sad day. But let's look towards our new Minnesota Viking, lucky freaking Jackson. Lucky Jackson went to Western Kentucky University. I got to be honest, there's not a ton out there about this guy. Uh, his senior year was 2019, went undrafted, had some damn good years at Western Kentucky. Final year, he had like 90 receptions, over 1,000 yards, um, record book-wise, Western Kentucky. Not sure if there's a ton of really fantastic wide receivers that went there, but he is up at the top as far as when it comes to the stats at Western Kentucky. Like I said, went undrafted since then, has bounced around Canada. Uh, I was looking at his stats, TSF or TFL. I don't know what league that is. Uh, someone wants to hit me up in the comments, please. I'd love to know all about that league. But uh, most recently, he was in the XFL just this year. He was on the DC Defenders. DC Defenders, and when you look at the XFL stats, leading receivers, it's like a top 10 guy. He had 36 receptions. 573 yards and five touchdowns. Um, so the Vikings saw enough where they're like, damn it, we need us some lucky jacks. And one thing that's interesting, looking at his college stats, he was he was six foot buck 85. When I look at the DC defenders, he, it shows him as six foot 222 pounds. That's a big boy wide receiver. I don't know if XFL, uh, I don't know how much I should put into their profiles if they're that accurate, but that's a, that's a big wide receiver and he's 25 years old. So lucky Jackson. We'll see. Um, you know, they, they saw something. We know when it comes to, like, the fourth wide receiver on this team, even uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, I mean, those final spots, it gets very, very murky very, very quickly. We've said it 100 times. If you're a, a, a guy, an undrafted free agent, or somebody that's trying to scrape, make some NFL team, the, the Vikings back end of their wide receiver depth isn't a horrible place to start. So Lucky Jackson's going into a good scenario. Best case scenario for him. Practice squad, maybe. We will see. But like I said, you know, some of these guys from the XFL, uh, that's the best part about having these leagues like the XFL. Teams can grab some players. And the best part is his name is Lucky. I love everything about it. I'm going to be Lucky Jackson's biggest fan. But that's it. If you know anything about Lucky Jackson, throw him down in the comments. How do you feel? And more so, are you already drinking? Because Kenny Willick is 